Good morning and welcome back. 7 a.m. Monday morning, ready for the morning motivator. Motivator? Morning motivator. <laughs> morning motivator. Yeah, how are we all doing this morning? I just admit my Monday has been a very slow start taking time to get up. It's a dark morning out there, but I'm here now and welcome you all. So let's get started. Just circling the shoulders, I've noticed recently that as part of my practice, I've been developing something known as Sudoku neck, which is where the head leans forward over, so it comes beyond the, the line of the chest, instead of coming back over the shoulders. Now what that will do is it will create tension in the neck and the spine and create tension in the ribs. So, as you stand, I'm gonna start off, as we always do, find your shoulder width, feet together, turn at the toes, turn at the heels. Just become aware of the upper part of your body and just get this feeling of lightness in the chest. So the chest needs to be sort of, it's not raised, it's kind of, hollowed in but the neck needs to sort of be in line so that the spine is elongated and the head sits on top of the neck if you like so just sort of make sure your chin is, is tucked in and just see what's going on with the shoulders a good way to check is if you can bring your hands up and raise them straight up over your head like so and then make fists and just bring the arms down and just be aware of what tension is in the shoulders. So if you've been leaning your head forward, you'll find that it's all like Argh. So if you can relax your head now and just sort of like bring it up and then relax the shoulder joints as your arms come down. Just doing that kind of a stretch. And then just bring the hands up. The elbows up again, so the shoulders and elbows are in line. Bring the elbows back a bit and then just drop the hands down. So just feel what's going on in the shoulders and the top of the spine. And just let the arms go so the hands can just swing. And then just bring the arms back down. So they come in line with the crease of your trousers. Just feel what's going on in the shoulders and just see if you can get all of that to release and relax. Now, I've been doing a lot of training recently and not been aware of what's going on in my neck. So I can feel quite a lot of tension in the shoulders there. So if you be careful, when doing these exercises, make sure that you are actually tucking the chin to suspend the head. Now that opens up the spine, drop the tailbone, then just let the shoulders just release and relax. Feel what's going on in the hip, the back, the shoulders, and then take your awareness down through to the soles of the feet. trying to open up the shoulders, open up the spine, suspend the head. So that you get a lightness in the chest, lightness in the head and a lightness in the body. Okay. So then feeling the ground beneath the feet, make sure the tailbone's tucked, dropped, as though you're sitting on a stool, chin tucked in. Opening the elbow joints, opening the shoulder joints, opening the wrist joints. And 
and then just let the hands just come slightly forward. Breathing in, bring the hands up the center line. Turn the hands up over the head and stretch up. So feel the stretch in the shoulders, top of the spine. Breathing out, circling the hands down. Just become aware of what's going on in your shoulders. So we're not gonna do too much clever stuff with this movement today. Just be aware of as you breathe in, you're stretching up. Feel the movement in the shoulders and the neck and down into the spine, breathing out, let the hands circle round. So you're really trying to free up the shoulder joints. There's a stretch there. But relax, release. This in particular is quite useful if you do a lot of work in front of a computer or you do a lot of work where you're concentrating so it takes all your energy up into your head. The tendency is for the head to lean forward so it doesn't sit comfortably over the body properly. to refocus, relearn how to set the shoulders and suspend the head. Really work the muscles at the top of the arms, stretching everything out. Let's see if you can let any of that tension go. And then change, 
bring the hands up over the head. Then make fists with both hands, keeping the arms roughly in line with your body and your shoulder and just pull the elbows down. So there's a stretch across the shoulders and the back. Elbows stay in line with the body. Tuck in the chin and then let the hands come down to rest by the sides. And shuffle them, soften the shoulders and just give them a, a little turn forward and back. Feel how that affects into the spine and the neck. Keep the chin tucked in, relaxing the shoulders. So as we're doing more and more stuff online now, people are working online more, and we've been working in front of computers a lot for the last 30 years. That's started to become more of a thing. So the tendency is for the head to come forward and for you to hunch forward and round the shoulders up. So now we're crushing down in the head we're crush, crushing down on the top of the neck and that will create headaches and all kinds of back problems. So we need to pull the head, ch the chin in, suspend the head and elongate the back. So imagine the head is suspended from the ceiling and then just let the neck, the shoulders, the spine hang from the head, from the neck as you tuck the tailbone and sink into the feet. And then we begin again, hands come up to the chest as you breathe in. We're not gonna to worry too much about sinking down at the moment, this is focusing on the shoulders. At chest height, turn the palms over, left hand goes up, right hand down as you breathe out. Then breathe in, the hands come back to the chest, and breathe out swap the hands so we're trying to get the shoulders to move more freely trying to elongate the spine keep the head suspended and relax the chest so that we can get our breathing to sink deeper into the body because the head position will have a, a marked effect and what goes on in the chest, the comfort of your breathing, how well you breathe, and the tension you keep in your upper body. So trying to get this alignment is quite, quite key. The scary thing is, is that it's very easy not to get the alignment and think you are. So what you can do is stand with your back against the wall and see how easy it is to place your head flat against the wall.
Pardon. Bring the hands back to the chest. Palms to the floor. Let the hands come to rest down by the sides and then connect with the ground, drop the tailbone, tuck the chin. Bring up the shoulders again. Bring the hands up to the sides, stretching up over the head, making fists. And then pull the elbows down in line with your shoulders. Hold it there for a moment and just let the muscles in the shoulders release, relax. The muscles in the spine release and relax. Raising the head. So you're suspending the head from the ceiling and let the neck and the spine hang down, the shoulders hang down. The tailbone drops as though you're sitting on a stool and sinking your energy into your feet. And then let the hands come down, keeping the shoulders and elbows in line. And just feel how that affects the shoulder joints and into the arms. And just see if you can switch the muscles off. And then bring the hands down to rest by the sides, just resting on the seams, the crease of your trousers. Again, keeping the head suspended. Sinking down, letting everything hang from the top of the head. Softening down through the body, breathing into the belly. Releasing the arms. And then turning the waist, let the arms just swing round. You're turning the waist, but you're still suspended from your head. turn just really really work on just getting those shoulders to open and release Feeling the spine, let the muscles go either side of the spine, opening up the vertebrae as you turn. change so the arms go out to the side so one hand swings in front the other one swings behind again still suspended from the head the top of the head opening up the neck tucking the chin softening the shoulders and you're rotating around your spine and just let those muscles release relax let them go
and change. Just come to rest. Again, suspending the head, tuck the chin, let the spine and neck, let the neck empty, let the spine hang down. Tailbone drops, connecting with the ground. Again, bring the hands up in line with the body, punch up over the head to stretch up, feel the stretch in the shoulders, get the muscles to relax and release. And then bring the hands down so that they're in line. Once the elbows are in line with the shoulders, just feel that stretch across the shoulders and down into the arms, through the back. Just breathe, softening the chest, relaxing the muscles and the arms. And then just let the arms just turn, to, sorry, the hands just turn so that they drop down. Feel how that connects into the shoulders, keeping the head, chin, chin, blah, <laughs> keeping the chin tucked in. Releasing the chest, releasing the shoulders more, release the neck more. And then just let the hands just come down to rest so that they touch the crease on the trousers. Feel that in the shoulders and then release the shoulders more and let the shoulders just sink down. Let the upper arms release, let the elbows open, let the forearms release, let the wrists open and let the palms of the hands soften. Bring the hands slowly forward, slightly forward, so they're roughly in line with the hips. Breathing in, the hands come up, drop the fingertips, breathing out. So feel the rolling in the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists as the hands sink down. Breathing in, come up. Breathing out, dropping the arms, sinking down into the thighs. So as you come up, you're suspended from the head. The head lifts up and the hands come up as you expand and inflate. And as you sink down, you're dropping down through the tailbone into the feet. Feel the movement in the shoulder joints really opening the joint up. Feel the movement across the shoulder blades. Into the spine. We're trying to get those shoulders to become a lot more fluid. The arms to release completely. The neck to empty, so keep the head suspended. You're lifting up from the top of the head as you come up. And you're sinking down through the tailbone as you sit down.
Ладно. And then again, tuck the chin, suspending the head. Let the neck empty, the shoulders sink, the spine opens as it elongates and the tailbone drops and sinking down through into the feet. Turn the fingertips to the right, circling the hands up, leading with the fingertips, right hand in front of the face, left hand continues down. You're holding a ball in the center and turning the waist around the spine, turning around the spine using the waist. Turn the palms, swap the hands and return the hand position back to centre by squaring the hips. Turn the waist to the left. So now left palm turns to the floor, right palm turns to the face. Swap the hands, square the hips. Now feel again what's going on in the shoulders as you turn. Trying to keep yourself moving around your spine using the waist. There will be a transfer of weight from one leg to the other, but it's not penduluming. It's using your hips and your quire. But you're still trying to keep the head upright, chin tucked in, spine elongated, tailbone dropped. Now breathing into the belly. Just let your mind sink into the belly, but don't let the structure collapse. Paying attention to what's going on with the shoulders. Keep them released, open. Change, so as the hips square again, circle the lower hand up so that both hands come up to chest height. Take a breath in, breathe out, let the hands sink down by the sides. Again, make fists, keeping the hands in line with the sides. Bring the hands up and over the head, pushing up. Keep the chin tucked in, tailbone dropped sink down through the soles of the feet and let the elbows drop down so that they come in line with the shoulders and when they are just let the hands just circle down so you feel the stretch in the upper arms and across the shoulders into the neck and let the hands drop down so they come to rest by the crease of the trousers again tucking the chin Softening the shoulders and the chest, releasing the spine, dropping the tailbone, sinking down through into the feet. Just any areas of tension there, just see if you can get them to melt, release, relax. And then close the hands over the belly. Left hand under right for men, right hand under left for ladies. As 
as you breathe, sink the mind now into the ten bien. Two fingers width below the tummy button and then back into the body about halfway between the abdominal wall and the spine. is suspended, chin tucked in, spine hanging from the, the head, shoulders released, tailbone dropped, let the arms come up in line with the body, again feel the stretch in the shoulders, across the chest and into the spine, just see if you can get all of that just to release and relax, then wiggle the fingers at the ends of the arms. And then bring the hands down, circle the hands at the ends of the arms. Again, releasing the shoulders, the upper arms, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, and the palms of the hands. Change again. Breathe the hands up. Look, breathe the hands. <laughs> Bring the hands up in line with the shoulders, making fists raise up over the head, and then drop the elbows down in line with the shoulders. Then closing the hands behind the head, keeping the, the elbows in line with the shoulders. Just feel what it's that feeling across the shoulder blades and the spine. And then just turn the waist and stretch the shoulders round. And then come back the other way. And back. And keep going. take it steady with all of this because if you've been doing a lot of work in front of the computer you've probably got a lot of tension in the neck and the shoulders and the spine so just be aware of that and as you turn just try and get it all to release and relax square your hands come out and then just rotate them down 
and let the hands come to drop down by the sides. Keeping the chin tucked in, tailbone dropped, feeling the ground beneath the feet. And breathing in, coming up onto the toes, hands come up over the head. And breathe out, just let the hands just drop. Breathe in, come up. And breathe out. And we are done. We'll give the legs a little shake. A bit of a longer one this morning. Apologies for that if people are now running late. <laughs> Hopefully not. So, take stock of how your shoulders are feeling. It really is quite important to take time. If you're spending time doing work in front of a computer or you're doing anything cerebral or even just sitting in a chair doing a Sudoku puzzle or watching TV is one of our main bugbears. You tend to sort of end up with the head lifting and going forward which then makes you stoop and creates this kind of like strange bend in the neck. I've noticed that I've been doing that a lot more than I thought I was so it's something that I need to work on myself. So this week's focus shoulders suspending the head okay so it's suspending the head relaxing the neck softening the shoulders that's where we're going to go this week I think because it's quite an important thing one of the 10 principles of Yang Shen Fu with Tai Chi is to suspend the head. Um, fun thing is, is what does that actually mean? So we'll have a play with that and see where we go. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed the set. If you have any questions or would like to leave any comments or feedback, please do so in the comments section below. If I could ask you to tag, share and like this video so we can get it as far afield, that would also be absolutely fantastic. And as always, I will post the link to the website and I will post the link to the Patreon if anybody would like to join uh, the school as a white dragon or a dragon warrior or any of the options that are available on Patreon. Similarly, if you've done this video, you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see these videos con continue, but you're not worried about joining the school. <coughs> excuse me, I'll also put a um, PayPal link if you'd like to donate something towards the school. Everything greatly helps or helps keep the lights on and helps to keep me here. Uh, in the mornings delivering this class to you. All that's left to say is have a really great day and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.